It's an MX1 mixed circuit. It's a regular uh, trainerized circuit. So you're going to start off with uh, doing the warm up. I'm gonna, so if we can get everybody just to start doing the march. Cross the hands. And snap kicks. All right, from there, feet wide, and bend down, squat, and then reach up. Try to have it so you, your feet are flat on the floor. Squat down as low as you can go, and then come back up. All right, hands up high, elbow to the knee. Exhale as you contract for four, three, two, one, other side. And last one, arm circles, nice and big. forward, one back. Then around the other way, one forward, one back. And chest stretch. Exhales, extend the arms out. And side bends. Jumping jacks. Alternate toe touches, feet wide. Hands down and around the world, all the way up and back down. And again. circles, around the other way, we're all older so we all know how to do the old Elvis twist, alright, ankles in the wrists, and around the other way, other side, alright, okay so we're, there's the warm up, we're going to be using dumbbells, both uh, light to uh, medium to heavy. So you're going to start off with getting the, the lighter dumbbell. So the first one, first exercise is going to be a Dynabody, the, the twist and pivot. So from there, you're going to bring the elbows out to the side. It's just knees soft, you're just slightly bent. And we're going to turn to the side and pivot. Keeping the elbows up high and just turning. So just exhale as you turn to the side. Four, three, two, and one. All right. So the next one on the list is called the Atlas Twist. So again, you're going to grab the dumb, dumbbell in two hands, feet about hip width apart. You're going to lean over to the side, squatting down just slightly, and then you're going to reach over to the other side. So down and up, and exhale. Inhale down, exhale up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it. And for 
three more. Two more. Last one on that side. All right. Feet where they are. Squat down on this side and reach over to the other side. Inhale down, exhale up. This is more or less a full body exercise. We're working everything from your glutes, your quads, all the way up through the core to your shoulders. Let your eyes follow the dumbbell. Goes down and back up. For four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, if you were how, if you had it going, you'd have your start now. The next one on the is the Hindu dive bomber push-ups. So you don't need a dumbbell for this. We're gonna get into downward dog position. So walking down into downward dog. So it's a Hindu push-up or dive bomber push-up where you're coming down and into back extension. Slowly come back up. All right, let's go. There's one. Two, now if you need to modify, you can drop down your knees and then come back up. Right. Try to stay on the ball of the feet and just rock back and forth. Stay down low. Come back up. Go for five more. Four. Three. Two, and one, extend, and hop or walk forward, come on up, now, next one on the list is your uh, kettlebell swings, so this one here is going to be a little bit more slow motion, feet are going to be about hip width apart, so it's a slow motion kettlebell swing, bend the knees, you're going to go from here, and up to shoulder height, all right? Slowly down and exhale up. Two, three. Now this mixed training works a little bit more on the cardio side of things. It's more, more for endurance, a little bit of strength training. Exhale up. Inhale down. Make sure the knees don't go past the toes. Bringing the butt back. Exhale up. Go for five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now grab your heavier dumbbell if you have. We are now doing the single leg deadlifts. So I'm going to stay here on the mat. So I'm going to be working my left foot and I'm going to have the dumbbell on my right side. So if I'm facing you, it's going to come down like this along the shin and back up. All right, let's go down and exhale up for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, keep that foot planted, bring that butt back, two more, all right, switch sides, and let's get right into it, one, Two, three, four, six. 
Couple more. And last one. All right. Place your dumbbell down. 30 second rest. And we're gonna do that set again. So if you do that using the Trainerize app, you can quickly put down the number of reps you've done for each, if you remember. Right, basically we were doing 15 except for the deadlifts. We did 10 to 12 depending on where you're going. Now, this is a 3-2-1 workout. So we're going to be doing three, three minutes of uh, dumbbell work. Right, then we're going to be doing two minutes of a little bit more cardio related. One minute a little bit more ab related work. All right. Number two, twist and pivot. I'm gonna stick with a heavier weight for a bit here. Bend the knees softly, and let's go for one. Two. Get those elbows up. It's a little harder with a heavier weight. Engage that core. Two and one. All right. From there, the Atlas twist. So feet about hip width or just a little bit further. Bend the knees. Pull it down and reach up for one. Two. Three. Remember those eyes. Follow the dumbbell. Switch sides. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale down, and up. That's it. I right, following that dumbbell. Bring that butt back. Go for three more. Two more, and last one. All right, from there, dive bomber push-ups. Walk into downward dog position, and slowly come down to extension and back for one. Two, three, Go for five more, four, three, two, and one. Pop back. Slow kettlebell swings. And stick to the heavier weight this time. Feet about hip width. Squat down a little and bring it up to shoulder height. One, two. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, and one. All right. We're down to single leg deadlifts. So we're going to be facing you guys. And slow down. And up. Try to keep all the tension on that leg that you're working. Five more on this side. Four. 
Three, two, and one. All right, switch sides. 10 reps on this side. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You guys look good. Water break. All right. So the next set, you're going to need two dumbbells for, for the next set of exercises. Okay. So from there, we're going to be doing uh, chair back flies. We're also going to be doing uh, chest presses with uh, single leg hip thrusts, deadlift up right rows, and shoulders, TWVs, and then a lunge with a bicep curl. All right, so grab your uh, dumbbells. For this one, depending, you can go with a light or medium, more heavy, whatever. All right, so it's you're going to be working the posterior delts. So for chair position in yoga, right, you're here, but I want to bend forward a little because we're going to work the uh, the back shoulders and do posterior delt flies. So if I'm facing you from here, one, exhale up, inhale down. Make sure you bring that butt back. The further that you can bend down, the more that you're actually working your mid-back. The higher you're up, the more you're working your shoulders. We don't want to work the shoulders yet. Exhale up, inhale down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So the next one on the list, chest press with a single, uh, single leg hip thrust. So we're not only working the chest, we're going to work the hamstrings. So you're going to want to have a little bit heavier weight. One foot's going to be up. So from here, you're going to drive the hip up as you bring the dumbbells up. And we're going to go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And switch legs, bring it down and start again for eight, seven, inhale down and exhale up. Five, four, three, two, drive that heel up, then one. Slowly roll forward. All right, we're going to need to get up. So it's deadlift to an upright row. This one, you're going to want to use the lighter, light dumbbells. All right. So again, we're going to work the hamstrings so in the deadlift, but we're also going to be doing an upright row. So just watch me first once. So you're going to bring, hinge the hip back as you bring the dumbbells down to the shins. As you come up, bring them off to the side. So your arms are going to be perpendicular to the ground, and then you're going to come back down and, get, and start again. All right? So let's go. Down, and upright row for one. Down and up. Right? Why do we do the upright row with the wide arms? Because there's no impingement of the shoulders. Right? A lot of people, when they do the upright row, they're using a barbell and keeping the hands close together. It actually uh, does a little bit of damage to the, to the shoulder. That's why you make sure you have it nice and wide. And with this, you notice you don't have to use a heavy weight. But back, exhale up. 
down, and exhale. Let's go for four more. Three, two, and one. All right. From there, shoulder TWVs. Again, kick with that lighter weight. So we're going to work the medial and anterior delts on this one here. So we're going to do a T, and then a W, and V off to the side. All right, and let's go one, two, and to V. The dumbbells only go shoulder height. A little bit more of shoulder rotation and the W's and anterior delts. So we're working medials and then we're working the back of the shoulders and and then the anterior delts. And up, back. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Two more. Two, three, last one, one, two, and three. All right. From there, lunge with a bicep curl. So you have an option, you can go with a little bit heavier weight or stick with your lighter weight, depending on how you want to work it. I'm going to go with a little bit heavier weight. Why not? All right, so from here, you're going to alternate lunge, so you're going to do lunge, come back, alternate. Make sure when you're doing this lunge that you have your foot planted, keep going, and nice and solid on the ground, all right? You want to make sure you have a good two-point solid stance. Make sure that the feet are wide enough that they're about hip width as you're doing it. All right, exhale, inhale. Exhale for two more on both sides. Last one on this leg and on this leg. All right, break time. And guess what, you get to do that one again. We are running out of time. We're going to do 10 reps rather than the 15 reps the chair flies. So again, grab your dumbbells. So the feet can be fairly close together. You're going to bend down and forward. And exhale up for one, two, three, four, five. Keep going. If you want to make sure don't round up the back, keep that curvature of the spine for a couple more. And last one. All right. Chest press. Working the hamstrings with the hip thrust. Down on the ground. Start with my right foot up. And we're going to go up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right. Slowly come on up. Deadlift, upright row. 
Lighter dumbbells. Feet about hip width apart. Move this one out of the way. All right, slowly down along the shin and then up to the side. Exhale up, inhale down. Two more sets. Two, three. Last one. One, two, and three. All right. Okay, we're doing the death, uh, the lunge with the uh, the bicep curl. I'm going to stick with the leg. Lunge with bicep curl. Lunge forward and do the bicep curl. Come back. Exhale, inhale. Make sure you plant heel, toe, making sure the knee doesn't go past the toe. Sink down, bicep curl. Try to coordinate it so you can do it all. One nice smooth movement. Plank, pigeon. Keep the back up high, get a nice back extension. And continue. Single leg lateral flies. Balance on the one leg, lean forward just slightly, and bring the weights up to the side. And you're not going to go any higher than shoulder height. Dumbbell lunge side hammer curl. You're only going to need one dumbbell. And lunge forward, plant. Hand down, bring the elbow up, you can extend it to the side. So we're not doing extension back, we're doing it off to the side. Again, to the side. Keeping that pivot point and extend. Squat rockers. Feet about hip width apart. And toe to heel. Sledgehammers. Feet about hip width. Bring the dumbbell up overhead. And you're going to squat down. Bringing that dumbbell down as if you're slamming it down like a sledgehammer. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Drive those hips back. Squat, inhale. Squat, and back. Plank, pigeon.
keep the back up high, get a nice back extension. And continue. Single leg lateral flies. Balance on the one leg, lean forward just slightly, and bring the weights up to the side. And you're not going to go any higher than shoulder height. Dumbbell lunge side hammer curl. You're only going to need one dumbbell. Lunge forward, plant the hand down, bring the elbow up, you can extend it to the side. So we're not doing extension back, we're doing it off to the side. Again, to the side. Keeping that pivot point and extend. Squat rockers. Feet about hip width apart. And toe to heel. Sledgehammers. Feet about hip width. Bring the dumbbell up overhead. And you're going to squat down, bringing that dumbbell down as if you're slamming it down like a sledgehammer. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Drive those hips back. Squat, inhale. Squat, and back. Traveling tire twist. Bring the dumbbell or medicine ball, whatever you have for weight, over to one side. You're gonna one, two, three, four, and then go backwards. One, two, three, four. Stay in line on the feet. Go a little wider. Bring it in a little closer. every workout with a cool down. Stretch. Down. Walk forward. Up. Try to interlock the fingers behind the back. Keep the feet planted on the ground. Slowly release, get into the warrior two pose. Lean and down, and up. Two sides. And if you're having trouble with it, slowly work into it. Don't force any of the movements. Back to the other side, opposite arm overhead, to the knee that's out front. Down. Make sure that you're controlling your breathing in around your navel, your belly button. stretches, meet with your chest, not with your head, don't bend the head forward. Try to hold all the stretches for at least 15 seconds.
we're done. Great job.